Hi friends, maybe you think you need very expensive, expensive materials to draw something that it is good enough, but this is not entirely true. With a very cheap HB pencil and photocopy paper, the paper that you have in your house, you can do almost everything, you can draw almost everything. If you want to see techniques to draw something like this, this bird, you uh, watch the entire video and see, and you will see along it many tips and tricks of, of drawing and see how easy and fun can be draw with everything you have in your house. So let's start to draw. Let's start. This pencil is called HB that is neutral and is the one used in schools, offices, IKEA, etc. In some countries there are no letters in your pencil but a number, which can be 1, 2 or 3. The HB corresponds to the number 2. Do not be confused with arti artistic pencils in which there is a number followed by a letter, for example 2B, which is a soft pencil, or 2H, 28, which is a hard pencil. In the free drawing course that I am uploading every two weeks to the channel, you can learn more about, about this topic. You have the link to the course in the video description. As you see, I am making curved lines, but very soft, with the pencil almost, uh, almost caressing the paper. Because if I need to uh, erase something, if I press too hard the paper, we, we, it will be very difficult to do if I have pressed and make marks on the paper. Okay? There are many types of birds. Uh, this is a parakeet. And one way to distinguish well which bird we are seeing is the shape of its beak. Each species of bird has in it uh, has a very particular uh, way of the beak. So, take your time to draw the bird's beak well. Also, the eyes are very important, but not only in birds, but in all your drawings of animals. Each animal has the eyes in a special way. So, take your time, be slow, draw as, you, as slow as you need, but make it well. If you draw fine and well the mouth, the beak and the eyes of your bird, almost all your drawing will be fine, I assure you. Ok, let's continue with this. Uh, the head feathers are very short, so we represent them with short strokes, and the tail feathers are very short, very long, sorry. Uh, so we represent them with longer and looser strokes. Okay. This part, the feet of the bird. I don't know if it is say the feet, the feet. <laughs> sorry. Okay. And we almost have the sketch, the initial sketch of our bird. Remember, in the options of YouTube, you can slow down the video to see it slower, but it is uh, recorded in real time. Now it is time, you have your sketch, you will do your initial sketch, it is time to erase all lines you will not need in the final stages of the, of the drawing. In other words, now when we clean up our drawing, we will begin making uh, shadows and details. So. Every line that we use to guide us is not needed and if we will clean it now, it will be easy to finish our drawing well. And let, uh, okay? This is a brass, very white brass, uh, which I, I use to clean the smears of the, of the eraser, okay? Okay, you don't see, but I have, uh, I am a, a sharpening my my pencil. I have sharpened it because when we work with just one pencil to achieve uh, darker tones, darker shades, you need to sharp it frequently. Okay? To because a sharp uh, point in your in the lid of the of the pencil allows us 
to give darken, darker uh, tones to our shadows. Okay. This part around the eye with very, very short, very short, you see, short uh, traces, pencil strokes, the nose, and we almost have it. It is easy, don't you think? Don't try to make very long lines if you don't have a, a surgeon, surgeon hands. <laughs> okay, make short, short lines because it makes more organic your drawing. Now representing the lines, the tones in the uh, feathers. Okay. Oh, see, you see, it's easy. Okay, when I was a student, uh, I rarely found human models to draw. So I use animals a lot. Uh, but the ones I saw in nature, documentaries, and photos, or even visiting the zoo. Uh, it's great trying to draw animals that move freely because it forces you to be more agile and try to represent the, what you see in record time. It is, it is hard but it gives you ease and I recommend that you, whenever you can, uh, draw animals from nature. It can be uh, uh, your dog, your cat or even your fish or one that you see in a YouTube video or in the show. It doesn't matter. The important thing is to draw as many animals as you can. In, okay? Uh, you will uh, not only learn to draw animals, if, but uh, you can learn to draw what you see if you do this. For example, uh, when he was younger, uh, very young, uh, 20, 20 years, <laughs> I supplemented my incomes, uh, my income by making pencil portraits uh, to tourists in the Plaza Mayor of Madrid. Uh, to be able to do that, uh, you have to be quick and very observant and have a good uh, command of your hands and the strokes that you do with them. I, I got these skills by drawing moving animals all my youth and teenagers, teenage. And I will not deny that my, my dog Fluffy, my cat Sissy and my canary Chuli were my involuntary role models many, many, many times and I draw them a lot of times. As you can see, I, I don't know if you, you can see, but I have sharpened the point, the lead of my pencil uh, many, many times. Um, I cut the parts where I am sharpen, sharpening my, my pencil to not lose a lot of time. But it is the only thing I have cut in the video. With sharpen lead, you can achieve very dark tones, as you can see, and it is a very regular paper, an 80 grams photocopy paper. You can draw almost everything with it. And this is a regular eraser, the, the one that you have in your house. I don't deny, if you, if you can afford it or you have access of it, it uh, you, can, you must uh, achieve, get the better materials of drawing that you can afford, okay? But if you don't have it, this is not an excuse to draw. You, you need to draw everything. You need to draw every day. You need to try. You need to uh, make mistakes, make bad, bad uh, drawings. And you, can, you can't make uh, bad drawings if you are uh, afraid, frightened to with the spend very expensive materials that you are using don't do, do you understand I, I i don't know if i am explaining myself well okay this is a, a another kind of eraser if you have it you can use it a precision eraser 
but if you don't have, you just uh, erase with the corner of your eraser, okay? And this is a very soft, soft uh, pencil that they have in my house with, uh, with the, the most cheap uh, pencil that you have. It is useful to do this. You don't need anything else. Okay. Recover. One trick is what I am going to say you in the now. Okay. If you don't have a precision eraser like this one, simply with a cutter or an scissors, cut a very sharp piece from your regular normal eraser and erase with the edge of it. This is the tip and the trick and you will erase everything that you wish. <laughs> and now to the veterans on the channel, I beg you to be patient for a few seconds because I want to say a few words to those who have just arrived and are liking what they are seeing. Okay, if you like the, these videos, I try to upload uh, one video per week, usually on Mondays. But if you don't want to miss a single one of the uploads, I recommend you subscribe to the channel. My goal is that everyone can enjoy and learn to draw and I try to help to achieve this goal to everyone. And if you want, you can support me by simply clicking the thumbs up and sharing the video with your friends. Well, going back to the video, let's see a few, a few things before we finish. Okay. When we want to give more contrast to every, one, every part of our drawing, we must draw it in layers. Don't try to make very dark tones at the first layer, but draw something, okay, very soft. Again, draw over it and again over it again with a very sharp uh, lead, as I said before, and you will achieve better contrast and better dark tones. Now we are just finishing our drawing and it's the it's the funny the funny part the funniest part of the drawing because now we almost have everything in place and just we are giving the bright that it needs but but remember it is very important listen to me listen this listen, listen it is important don't overwork your drawings it is better it is better, uh, let, uh, let it go a drawing, start, uh, stop a drawing when it is almost finished, not finished. Because if we overwork, overdraw our uh, drawing, it will lose its strength, it will lose life, it will not be a very good drawing. In other words, it is preferable to leave a drawing completely unfinished, which will not make it worse, rather than trying to make it perfect and end it leaving it to work, which does ruin a work of art. Uh, as a rule, remember, perfection does not exist. Okay? So do not try to make a perfect drawing or you will spoil and ruin it, okay? But rules are made to be broken, <laughs> just say. Now just clean everything that is surrounding our, our bird, okay? Clean it with a broad brush and soft brush like this and it is done. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. See you soon. Be very happy and draw a lot. Bye.